Hello and welcome to this 30 minute cardio session with me Rahul, your coach and joining me today from my tribe, I've got Rahul Basak and Sharanya and together we will help you complete this dynamic workout. All new athletes working out with us today, take it slow to begin with and allow your body to adapt and understand the movement pattern. You want to follow Rahul on my left with the scaled down variation of the movements and move up to the scaled up version as the rounds progresses. As for all my advanced athletes, you'll perform the regular version of the workout along with Sharanya. A quick tip on this, try and maintain the same intensity for all the rounds to maximize your effort. I keep a bottle of water and towel handy to begin with the warm up. The first one we're going to be doing is the standing cross crawl. Take a look at the movement, hands behind the head, your right elbow will come to the left knee, all right? And the other way and you keep going. Now when you do this, I want to make sure that you contract your abdomen as you bring your elbow close to the knee. We're going to do the same thing for the scale down as well. You can rest in between as you feel like, all right? 30 seconds of hard work, let's get going, starting in three, two, and one. Go for it, guys. One, and two, and three. Get a good balance, you don't have to rush into this. Go slow on this, but you wanna bring that elbow close to the knee as much as possible. Feel your abdomen contracting. Activate your full body, especially your midsection, while we perform this drill, all right? Nice one, guys, come on, let's go for this. Few more seconds because we want to make sure we hit all 30 on this. Nice form. Go for it. Come on. Come on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Nice work and almost done. We are good. Relax. All right. Next up, something to get that heart rate up. We are going to do quick feet. How do we do this? I want you to lean forward first slightly. All right. Push your hip back. Feel that load on your hamstring. Come onto your toes. You can either keep your hands in front of you and hold it there steady or you can move around. All right. Take a look. All right, you see this really explosive. You'll feel that burn from your legs going up and get that, push that heart rate up, right? Now, on the scale down, you can start with a little slow pace and see if you can pick up pace as the seconds progresses. 30 seconds of it again, starting in three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Yeah, nice work there. Good job, okay. Keep moving your hands, keep moving your hands. On the scale down, go at an easy pace to begin with, but let's pick up some pace, buddy. All right, let's go for it. Pick up some pace, move, move your hands. Nice work, Sharanya. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Your heart rate is getting up now, right? Feeling that nice warm up going in your body, preparing you for this one. Good work, and done. Okay, last one. We've got the, the taps. Shoulder tap, knee tap, and toe tap. Take a look at how we're gonna do this. Get into a plank position, keep that core tight. Tap, tap, knee tap. Then push your hip up, toe tap. All right, then back to shoulder tap. All right, so shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee, toe, toe. 30 seconds off it, scale down as well. Try to do the same thing. Go for it in three, two, and one. Nice shoulder tap, knee tap, and then your toes. So for the toes, you gotta push your hip up, then come back to the plank. Keep repeating this. Nice work, nice work. Come on. While we're doing this, we wanna activate that midsection of yours, right? So make sure that we have a good amount of activation going there because today's focus is core along with your conditioning drill. We are done with the warm-up. Your body is definitely ready for this amazing workout. Let's take a few deep breaths, guys. If you want to take a quick sip of water, we can do that. All right, so while you do that, let me explain what we're going to be doing. We're going to be hitting four rounds, four movements, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. All right, the first one we're going to be doing something which is gonna get that heart rate up, the full body conditioning as well, and build some strength as well, all right? We're gonna be doing burpee, but not the full burpee. We're gonna go for half burpee. Take a look. We start by bringing our arms forward, extend into a plank, then we come back up, hands on top. Now that's how we do the burpee. Take a look again, half burpee rather, okay? On the scale down, we're gonna do step. One, two, one, two, and a little jump. 40 seconds of work, guys. Let's do this. We are gonna be ready. Let's face each other starting in three, 
two, and one. Go for it. Okay, nice work, right? Stay light on your feet as you jump up. Good job, look at that movement, nice work. Come on, Raul, you're doing the step burpee. That's the modified version, the easier version, the scaled down version, if you will. Right, you gotta step back, step back. Now when you're stepping back, you wanna alternate as well. You step back with the right foot in the first rep, second rep, you step back with the left foot as well, all right? So we have equal load going every rep. Last 10 seconds, guys, come on. Nice, let's come on, add a few more. You're almost there. And time, okay. Any of you counted your reps? If you have, you wanna try and sustain the same number of reps as we finish these four rounds, okay. Next up, while you rest up, yeah? Butterfly sit-ups we've got for you. Work for your abdominals. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep your, your feet together, your knees are outside, you go down, hands behind your back, come up, try to maintain a flat back, keep that core tight as you keep moving, all right? 40 seconds of this, on the scale down, do the same thing, but if you feel that you're getting that fatigue set in on your core, slow it down and go easy. But you gotta be doing this for 40 whole seconds. All right, let's get in position. You all know the movement. Get down on the floor, feet together, knees out. Starting in three, two, and one, hands behind. Come up and touch your toes. Front, go down again, controlled, yeah? Feel that work on your core. Now, every movement, it doesn't have to be necessarily really fast. This one is how you control and contract that abdomen as you come up and as you go down as well, right? We don't want to let it loose. We don't want that tension of your core going away as you, you know, put your back on the floor, right? Come up, 10 more seconds to go, guys, come on. We can add, a, we can add some intensity by adding some pace now. All right, a few quick ones as we go strong. And we are done. Good work, good work, y'all. Next up, we've got something which will get that agility going, explosive. We're gonna build some power as well, and we're gonna feel that coordination in your body. We call it the broad jump with the back pedal. Take a look, guys. I want, if you're working out on a mat, you'll be going all the way to the edge of the mat. From here, you're gonna push your hands behind for momentum. As you do that, you're gonna jump forward, land soft, land in control, then back pedal. All right, back to the starting position. Again, you do that. On the scale down, you go for two hops. One, two, boom, 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 boom. Again, you go for it, right? That's the movement. We'll do this. Are we all ready? Remember, this is explosive, right? But you want to control that landing and you want to know exactly how many steps you take to get back to that starting position. Let's start in three, two, and one. Go for it. Nice work, yeah. Good job. Every rep, it's got to be maximum intensity. All right? You don't have to hit a lot of reps, but every time you hit one rep, you want to make sure that you're giving 100% of that focus, of that intensity in the rep. Nice work, right? Nice work. Hands behind, yeah, that's good. Hands behind and jump. Hands behind and jump. Good job. Nice work, nice work. 10 more seconds to go. 10 more seconds, guys. Awesome, awesome. Come on, come on. Let's finish up strong. One more to go. Let's end now, all right, good. Great, okay, your heart rate is up now. We wanna take in a few deep breaths, <sighs> right? One more, and I'm gonna be explaining the next one. We've got cross climbers, just like mountain climbers, but we're gonna go across, right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow like this, okay? Every time you bring your knees across, contract your abdomen. On the scale down, you'll do step. One, two, three, four. And try to go a little faster as we hit 40 seconds of hard work. We good for this? We good? All right, let's get in position. You all good as well, starting in three, two, and one. Hit it. 40 seconds. This will be your first round. We're gonna be hitting four rounds of this. All right, four rounds in total. This is the end of the first round. Nice work there, 40 seconds, right? Great job, good pace. That is a decent amount of pace that you're gonna be sustaining for all 40 seconds. You wish in the last 10 seconds you can up that game a little bit. Nice work. 10 seconds, now's the time. Let's push it a little bit more. 
Remember to breathe out. Great work. Almost there. And done. Okay, relax you all. We're gonna get into a break, recovery break, 30 seconds. Take a quick sip of water, not too much, right? We've got a lot of conditioning element over here. So we don't wanna have stomach cramps, right? With too much water in the body. Just enough, a quick gulp, quick sip. That's good, all right? But yeah, you gotta hydrate as well, right? Round two coming up, guys. You know all the movements. You wanna just reorient your mind and think of how to execute each one, how many reps you gotta be hitting, how much of an intensity you want, right? Play along with that, okay? So you can start a little slower, you know, a few reps, and then you can pick up pace. Round two coming up, guys, with your hot burpees. Let's go for it, starting in three, two, and one. Nice, lovely work there by Sharanya. Yeah, nice work. Look at how quick she is with that feet and she jumps, shoots right back from that blank position. Hands up, nimble footed, nice work. Come on, Raul, yeah. Step, step, step forward again. Good jump over there on the scale down as well. Guys, it's modified, right? But I'm telling you, the intensity is nonetheless 100% even on the scale down. Good work. 10 more seconds, guys. Come on, let's hit at least three to four reps before we finish off 40 seconds on this one. Excellent. All right, done, done. Good job. Deep breaths, guys. Deep breaths. Relax. 20 seconds we've got. The next movement is butterfly sit-ups. We have understood that movement pattern. Remember, you can go a little slow, okay? It's all in control. Feel that contraction as you come up. Exhale, right? As you come up, exhale, feel that contraction, go full range, go back down and control, starting in three, two, and one. Nice work. On the modified version, we're doing the same though, right on the scale down, but of course you can rest, all right? You can rest in between when you're doing the scale down variation. We're going slow and steady and controlled pace, making sure that we have that mind connection, right? With the abdominals, really making sure we are isolating it, getting it really, really strong. Excellent work. Last 10 seconds. We can pick up some pace now. Pick up some pace. Let's go, let's go. Try to maintain a flat back as much as possible. So from your back, too much. And we are done. Okay, time for the super explosive movement, the broad jump with the back pedal. Remember when you're jumping, right? Hands behind for momentum, and then you shoot forward. Okay, control. And then nicely, you know, you roll back, step back. Starting in three, two, and one. Nice work. Two small hops there. And a back pedal from Raul. Good job, good job. All right, powerful there. Powerful rep, nice work. The landing itself, right? It has to be focused as well. You gotta land soft. Take a moment, go back. Hang in there a few seconds and know what you're gonna do again, all right? You gotta make sure that you don't lose that balance as well. 10 seconds to go. Nice work there, nice work. Come on, come on, let's finish strong, guys. One more, just one more and done. Wow, okay. Just like that, guys, second round, almost done. Just one more movement, and then we're done with two rounds. Okay, deep breaths, guys, deep breaths. Large gulps of air. We're gonna hit cross climbers. Let's get down on the floor now. Starting in three, two, and one. Go for it. Nice. Still doing the step cross climbers on the scale down. You wanna pick up some pace on that, you can do that as well. All right, pick up some pace. Nice work, Sharanya. Great work, guys, come on. You guys are doing good. Great effort from you all. Remember that energy meter is tracking your movements, giving you an indicator of how much of an effort you're putting in. Okay, this is good stuff. 10 more seconds to go, let's pick up some pace. All right, let that energy booster shoot across, flash across the screen. We really, really pick up that pace and done, done. All right, that was that was really tough, right? That was really tough on the core. And of course your hip flexors and your legs, a lot of work on your legs, especially after the broad jump. Okay, but we're doing good. We're doing good, two beautiful rounds, guys. 
We're taking that short breather, which we all need. Right? Which we all need. Okay, are we good? You want to wipe off that sweat, drink, you know, take a few sips of water and come right back because it's time for us to commence round number three, guys. All right, this is a quick workout. We're going to breeze through it. Let's get ready for half burpee starting in three, two, and one. Go for it. Excellent stuff. Right. Wow, ain't it so nice looking at Sharon you go there. Like up, jump right up, really nimble on the, on the legs. Nice work. And Rahul is making sure that he's doing justice to that scale down variation as well. As he's picking up some pace. Don't want to be left behind, right? Okay, good work there. 10 more seconds for my buddy over here. Come on guys, let's do this, let's do this. We're all doing good. Great job from everybody. Almost there and done. Okay, right. Big, big moment there, right? Big on that movement. Great on that heart rate. Amazing full body conditioning. And of course, you're building strength as well as you do your burpees, rep after rep. Butterfly sit-ups coming up. Go for it, guys. Come on. Let's hit it. Nice work. Great. Good form, good technique. Look at that focus on Raul Basak's face. Nice work. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Have fun as well, guys. Come on. Not always about being serious, right? You gotta have fun as you breathe into these workouts. Feel that mind muscle connect. And you always you know, do this with a plum, with you know, that finesse, that fun element as well. 10 more seconds, guys. Come on. seconds. Right, three more. Two and done. Okay. All right. Let's stand up. Let's get ready for this big movement. Super strong, super explosive. We are ready. My tribe, my squad is ready as well. Okay. Few deep breaths. Are we good? Are we good? All right. We are good to begin in three, two, and one. Let's go. Nice there. Right. Okay, two small hops, one and two, and back pedal again. One and two, and back pedal. Good job, good job there. And over here, big on that movement. Big, nice jump, strong jump there. Back pedal, we know exactly where we have to be. Right at the start, right at the edge of that mat. Push through that movement again. Nice work, 10 more seconds, guys. Let's hit one more, one more, one more back pedal and we can stop now, relax. Got an extra rep there, good job, good job. Okay, cross climbers coming up now, but we're still into that 20 second breather. So let's use this smartly. You know what to do, right? Deep breaths. Try to get that heart rate slightly down because we're gonna get that up again. Okay, get in position. Starting in three, two, and one. Go for it. Nice. Excellent stuff. Come on, come on. Let's keep going now. 40 seconds. By the time you hit that 15 seconds, 20 seconds mark, 25 seconds mark, you start feeling a lot of burn on your midsection. Your heart rate is going up. You know, you have a lot of load on your shoulders as well. All these things will play in your mind, but we are gonna do one better because we're gonna be finishing off in style, right? We're gonna be lasting 40 seconds on this one. 10 seconds to go now. 10 seconds to go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Five more seconds. Let's keep going in three, two, and one. And we are done. All right, rest up, 30 seconds recovery. Quick sip of water, wipe off that sweat if you've got to. I'm gonna explain the finisher, it's Tabata, right? 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. You have a total of eight rounds, two movements for each. First one, we've got flutter kicks. Take a look. On the ground, toes extended, hands can be off the ground, and you're gonna go like this, all right? A scale down, you can keep your hands lightly outside your hips, not behind, just outside your hips, go for it. 20 seconds of that. Then rest 10 seconds. In that 10 seconds, you're gonna be standing up. You gotta think that you're holding a medicine ball, a med ball in your hands, and you're gonna slam it. 
come up, slam it, all right? You gotta jump down and slam hard, get that heart rate up again. Scale down, same thing, you can rest, you don't have to really jump. Come to your toes and bring your heel down. That's all, that's all you gotta do, right? Okay, two movements. We gotta be doing this for four minutes in, com in totality, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, alternating. Starting with the flutter kicks, guys, for that core work in three, two, and one. Go for it. Nice, extend your toes, guys. You gotta keep your hands outside. Your hips for a modified version. Come on, good work. Feel that work on your lower abdomen. A lot of movements on the leg as well, right? This is gonna be a little the hip flexors might be a little tight already. We are done. 10 seconds rest. Let's quickly stand up. You've got your med ball slam, but shadow. All right, so you gotta imagine you're holding something in your hand. Go for it. One and boom, and up again and boom. Go for it. Nice work. Really go smash that ball down. Explosive movement. Nice. All right, 20 seconds of hard work, right? Gonna get that heart rate up, guys. Gonna get that heart rate up. Slam it, yeah. Nice, done. Okay, two easy rounds, right? We got six more to go. But it's very quick, it's fast, and it's gonna be really, really breezy. Starting now, flutter kicks. Nice work, okay. Good job there, good job. I want you to adjust your palms a little forward, just outside your hips, that's good. Yeah, that's nice, guys. That's nice. Nice work. Great job, man. Okay, done. Stand up, stand up. This is three rounds done, right? Fourth round this is. Like I said, we're breezing through. With your med ball slam now, go for it. Boom, every time you slam, you breathe out. Up again, and slam, breathe out. And explosively, right? Explosively, slam it down. Nice, full body work. Really powerful work. Your hands, your core, your legs, getting that heart rate up as we execute this. And done, guys. 10 seconds, breather, halfway there. Get onto the floor again, flutter kicks coming up for you all. Go for it. 20 seconds. Nice. All right, it's okay. Come on, keep your hands outside your hips. Go for it on the scale down version. Toes extended. Got an extra burn on your lower abdomen. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Done. All right, we're gonna be standing up again for your shadow med ball slam. Modified version is the same. The scale down is the same, right? You can slow down on that pace. Go for it. Nice. Yeah. Up and down. Up and down. Great work. Come on guys, feel alive, look alive, and we are gonna be completely smashing this one. And this is the finisher, right? It's gotta look like a complete finisher. You gotta give in everything that is left and done, guys, and done. That was an extra rep from my tribe over here, and I'm sure you guys are doing that as well. Let's get down onto the floor for the last two rounds, guys. Last two rounds, a lot of kicks coming up for 20 seconds. Go for it. Nice work. About five seconds done. We're there almost, 10. Good work, guys, come on. 15, five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good, all right, let's stand up. Slam time, guys, slam time. 20 seconds, last one. We're gonna go for it, all out. Go for it now. Yeah, all right, come on. Boom, slam it hard, up again, and slam it down hard. Up again now. Nice work, guys. Almost done with 10 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are not stopping, guys. We are not stopping. Keep going, keep going. A few more seconds. Anytime now. And done. That was done neatly. Good job. Good job, you all. Now we're gonna get into that cool down. So you wanna take in a few deep breaths, try to get that heart rate down just enough so that we can stretch it out nicely. All those muscles that you've used, you've contracted too often, right? You wanna relax those muscles. First up, we're gonna be doing is a simple one for child's pose, okay? Now, I want you to keep your feet, your knees a little wider, all right? Arms forward, but your glutes should be resting on your heels as you extend forward 
get your either your forehead down if you can get the chin down that's also you you're gonna be holding this for 30 seconds all right get in position guys starting in three two and one and as you ease into that with your hips sinking down you want to make sure that you push your palms slightly forward lightly feel that stretch on your lats as well upper back your shoulders Speak about this during your stretches. You're almost done now. Okay, good. All right, next up, we've got Cobra. Y'all can relax from there, from that child pose position. Extend arms outside your chest, and you're gonna do a little back bend. Look up, stretch that abdomen, and you have a nice little, you know, back bend going on your lower back and really relieving all the tightness from there you can extend your toes as well as you do this make sure you shrug don't shrug your shoulders bring your shoulders down all right go for it now okay. now try to up. on the scale down you can also try to keep your palms slightly forward if you have a little niggle on the back this is much easier keep your arms forward all right still doing the work of that lower back and also stretching your abdomen as well. Okay. 30 seconds, right? We're almost done. Stay in there. In that position. Done, guys. Last up, we've got to thread the needle. This is for your shoulder. You see your lower back, your thoracic spine. We start in that child pose position, right arm forward. I'm gonna take that left arm inside and with the right arm, I'm gonna put it behind. Make sure that I really push that palm down, the back of the elbow down, and feel that stretch on my shoulder. Okay, 30 seconds, one arm, 30 seconds, the other. This is the final one. Go for it in three, two, and one. Good work. Now, when you're doing this, right, I want you to make sure that you push that elbow down, the back of the elbow down, if you can push the palm down as well. You feel really deep stretch on the arm, which you have put inside, you thread it inside, okay, breathe, stretch it out, nice, done, let's go with the other arm guys, last 30 seconds, go for it, relax, deep breaths guys, deep breaths, doing well, up slowly look happy look alive all right you've done extremely well awesome job you all and you have been superb this was indeed a solid workout and really phenomenal and smashing effort from all you guys including my tribe over here give me an elbow five good job there good job right guys now all my athletes hydrate well and eat the right things mix it up with a good amount of protein healthy and good carbs to get the right combination of nutrition. You want to add superfoods like chia seeds and flax seeds in your daily food intake and you can feel that difference. And on that note, my tribe and I are going to sign up for today. Let's do the ritual together where we keep our hands on the hips and shout out we are cults. All right? Are we good for that? Let's go for it in three, two, one. We, we are, are cults. Rest up and we'll see you in the next session very soon.